Hello everyone! I hope you're enjoying the beautiful spring weather and maybe you've noticed some beautiful flowers that come out this time of year. Today we're going to make our own flowers for indoors. We're going to make tulips. To make this tulip, you're going to need two colors of paper or white paper that you can color after. You're going to need to make one big square and one small square for the leaves, stem, and the petals. You'll also need a pair of scissors. Let's start. Okay, to start your origami tulip, you're going to need two colored squares. Green is going to be the bigger one for the leaves and a smaller square of a different color for the petals. First, we're going to work on our petals. So take your square, if it has one color on either side, flip it to the one that you do not want. And you're going to start with it in a diamond position. Fold the bottom corner up to the top corner, like this. And you've got a triangle. Open it up again change the direction and fold it in the opposite direction so you have a cross through your middle, like this. And here you have another triangle. Now what we've got to do are the two petals that come up this way. So we're going to take one corner and fold it from the center so that it points straight up so that we'll have one, two, and then three points, kind of like a crown. So we've got one side like this, and the other side like this, pointing straight up. Now, to give it more of a round tulip shape, we're gonna fold it over and just point these outside corners directly to your center line like this, just to give it a better shape on the sides. One and two, so they're pointing at each other directly through the middle. And now you've got the perfect tulip shape. All right, so now to begin the leaves, you're going to take your big square, and if it's two different colors on either side, make the side you don't want to see facing upwards. My paper is a little dirty, so I don't want to see the white here. Now. You've got to fold your paper in half to make a big triangle. This will give us a line in the center that we're going to use. Make it as exact as you can, but if it's not, you can always go back and fix it. There we go, aligned on the middle. Now, we're going to take this edge and fold it into our center line that you can see here. So I'm gonna fold it like this into the center and do the same on the other side. Like this. Use your fingers to make sure that the paper folds nicely. There we go, and now it's the shape of a kite. We're gonna turn it around and do the same thing with these shorter edges now. Fold them into the center line. So here we go, like this. There we go, into the center. Like this, now it looks like a very tall and skinny kite or a green diamond. One more time, we're going to turn it around and fold the outside edges, this big long edge here, into the center. One more time like this, and like this. Okay, so now you have this very long, pointy green shape, like a diamond, and we are going to fold it in half, like this, and now, We're going to pull it a little bit apart because this is going to be your stem and then this is your big leaf like this. So now make the fold very strong and you've got your stem 
and your leaf and your tulip will actually be able to stand like this on its own. So now we've got our leaf and our stem and our petals. To put them together, take your scissors and cut a very small hole in the bottom of the tulip. Here we go, see? We've got the hole here, and we're going to put the stem into the hole, and there we go. We have our beautiful springtime tulip.